Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're doing well, and although I am by no means the poster girl for perfect skin, I do have a few tips and tricks that I wanna share with you that I've learned from either modeling or just life in general that tend to make my skin a little bit better if I remember to do them. So these are my top six tips for clear skin. The first thing I want to show you guys is something that exfoliates and kind of cleanses your face using lemon juice and coconut sugar or you can use brown sugar. I first heard about this from the Polish Canadian supermodel named Daria Wurgoi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that Polish name correctly but yeah she does this for her skin and her skin looks amazing and she got this from her grandmother and she swears by it and I've been doing it and I swear by it so you guys definitely got to try this one. So the first major ingredient you will need is lemon juice. Juice. Lemon juice will lighten any dark patches you have on your skin. Actually, it will lighten your face overall, whether you want um, like a more lighter complexion or you had like a bad tanning experience or those self tanning, like something went bad, and it will just brighten up your skin overall. So it will lighten and brighten your skin. And it also helps to treat oily skin and just helps to keep your skin more balanced and give you a more overall even skin tone. It gives you a really deep cleanse and it also helps to fade the acne scars which is my main problem every time I get a pimple even if I don't touch it it will leave this red mark on my skin and I have so many of them so yeah this will help to get rid of those scars that pimples leave behind and because of the citric acid in that and along with our second ingredient which is coconut sugar or brown sugar these two together will help to exfoliate your skin and get rid of the dead skin cells so that your skin is smoother so you guys need to try this because you're gonna have brighter skin, you're gonna have um, more balanced skin, a more even complexion, smoother skin. I try to do this on my skin about three times a week if I remember. Sometimes I'm lazy, but usually around three times a week. So how do you do it, you ask? Let me show you. Take a fresh clean lemon and cut it in half. Squeeze half the lemon into a bowl. Add one tablespoon of organic coconut sugar or organic brown sugar and mix them together. Apply it to your face using a cotton pad. Massage it in circular motion for three minutes, then let it sit for another five minutes. Wash it off with lukewarm or cold water. Dry it with a clean towel, then apply your favorite moisturizer. My next tip is for pimples, especially those really deep, painful ones that usually last a long time. Actually, any pimple in general. This I've been doing for a long time, like as long as I can remember to the point where I have no idea where I got it from. I've just been doing it for a long, long time and it works for me. And what it is, is ibuprofen is the like science term, I guess. So anything of those like pain medications for headache, you basically take that and you crush it up and make a paste with water. Because what that does is it helps uh, take away inflammation. So this will reduce the size of the pimple, reduce the redness, reduce the swelling, reduce the pain in the area that you put it on. It kind of makes sense because when you take the pill, it helps to reduce like the pain in your head because it blocks the receptors or wh whatever it does. I don't really know. I'm not going to get into it because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But either way, it does something for pain and inflammation, blah, blah, blah. So it also works on your skin. And yeah, this works for me and I hope it will work for you guys if you're having problems with that. Okay, let me show you how to make that paste. Take an ibuprofen and crush it between two paper towels to avoid a mess. Pour it into some sort of container. I like to use water bottle caps because it's a good size and I can just throw it away after. Add a tiny bit of water and stir it together to form a paste. Now put it on that big, annoying, painful pimple and leave it there for about 15 minutes then gently wash it off. Repeat it morning and night until it goes down and you feel better. My next tip is really important and I think a lot of people don't realize how often they should do this. And that's to change your pillowcase regularly. So I often sleep on my stomach and on one side of my face, like I'll tend to favor one side of my face for sleeping on the pillow and that's this one. And I'll notice that I'll start breaking out in this area only, like not so much on this side. So that tells me that my pillow is dirty and I need to change it more frequently. So I looked into it and you're actually supposed to change your pillow like every three days. And I know that's probably a bit impossible, especially living with your mom. I know my mom would be like, I'm not washing your pillowcase again, I just washed it. So maybe like once a week, remember to change your pillowcase because your pillowcase gets full 
full of dirt and oil. If you sleep with any bit of makeup on, your makeup stuck to it, um, your sweat. Um, it's just a huge ground for bacteria and dirt and oil and when you're sleeping on it your skin is just like stuck in it So just remember to change over your pillowcase and you'll notice your skin is so much better when you after you do that My fourth tip is simple don't touch your face your hands have so much dirt and bacteria on them And anytime you touch your face with your hands that haven't been washed well you're just transferring all the dirt and bacteria to your face and it's just not good. Every time I'm like picking with my face or playing with my face, I always get a pimple in that area that I was touching all the time. So just don't touch it. Even just leaning on your hand, don't do it. Don't touch your face. Okay, this fifth one is such a pain, I know, and I'm so guilty for going so long without doing it. Like who actually frequently washes their makeup brushes if they're not a makeup artist? I don't, I always leave them. But this is so bad because so much dirt, oil, and bacteria gets trapped into them and when I think about it, when I was painting a lot before, every time I would work on a piece, I would clean my brushes because it was so important for the brushes to be clean so that any unwanted colors don't transfer onto the canvas later um, so that when they're clean, the paint just goes on smoother and better, like many reasons. And that is the exact same with makeup brushes. When your brushes are clean, the color goes on properly, it goes on better, it's better for your skin, it's better for your makeup, it's better for everything. So definitely wash your makeup brushes at least once a week. Try to make it a habit, like say every Sunday, morning or night, whatever you choose, that you wash your makeup brushes. Especially if you're like me and you're putting on makeup often, this is really, really important. So I'm gonna show you a cheap, easy, and natural DIY way to clean your brushes. This is the one that I always use for mine. Take a jar and pour in one cup of boiled water. Add one teaspoon of your cleansing oil of choice. Because my skin tends to be normal or a bit dry, I'm using half a teaspoon of castor oil and half a teaspoon of avocado oil. If you don't want to go out and buy special oils, you can use one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Add one tablespoon of natural dish soap. This cleanser is so good. It makes your brushes so clean so fast with very little work. So I've seen these makeup brush cleansing gloves called Sigma and they're about $40 US. But I found these kitchen gloves at Tokyo Hands for about 1,000 yen, so about US $10. And I'm sure you can find something like this at any homework shop or Walmart or Target or whatever. The Sigma one is way more sophisticated, but this cheaper version also gets the job done. Throw your makeup brushes around in the jar. Take the brush out and run it under lukewarm water while cleaning out on the glove to get out the extra stubborn dirt. Rinse it well. Then wipe the brush off with a paper towel and lay it flat to dry overnight. The grips really help to squeeze out all the makeup. Look how much the glove helps. Look at those clean brushes. And look at all the dirt left behind. Glad that's not on my face. And the last one I know gets said all the time and it's really easy to say and everybody knows this but people don't do it and that's to drink more water. It is so important to drink a lot of water for your skin to stay hydrated and supple and not to be dry and produce acne. And water just does so many good things for your body, not only your face, like flushing out toxins, etc, etc. So it is so important for you to drink tons of water, especially now in the summer that it's hot out. And I know you guys know this, everybody knows this, but how to drink more water. Like some people just aren't into drinking tons of water. Like it doesn't taste good. It, they would rather drink something with flavor. So my tip for you is to drink lots of water. Always have water with you so that you can grab it, like carry it with you on the go so that you just remember to drink it. And if you're not that into water, then I, even if you are actually, I suggest you to make these flavored waters because they taste amazing. They have like extra properties that help you to um, filter things out and like detox or burn fat or like they have many different recipes. Whenever I make these, I just drink so much more water because it tastes better and I just, yeah. It, this really works for me. I posted a lot of flavored water recipes on my website I think like two years ago. I will link them below in the description box But my favorite go-to flavored water recipe recently <laughs> Is this one take a clean lemon and a clean cucumber and slice them thinly also grab a handful of fresh mint leaves Add them to a jar of water and mix it up and store it in the refrigerator or just on your counter depending on what temperature you like your water 
I hope you liked all of my skincare tips. If you have any of your own, whether they be DIY ones or store-bought ones, please let all of us know in the comments. And if you do try any of the ones I mentioned and you like them, please also let me know. I really hope that my tips work well for you guys because the heat is here and it's always a bonus to have good skin so that you can wear less makeup because makeup is so annoying when you're sweating or swimming or going to the beach or anything like that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you liked my tips and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!